Hello everyone and welcome back to another repair video on the channel. My name is Antoine and in today's video we have an iPhone 7 stuck in DFU mode. Uh, so obviously the first thing to do is uh, to try to restore the device because uh, when any iOS device stuck on DFU mode you cannot update it uh, using iTunes. Uh, so uh, I'm going to show you step by step or to be more specific the diagnostics that I'm going to do. So as you can see the first thing to do is uh, obviously check how the phone uh, looks like uh, from inside and uh, it seems like everything is okay but <clears throat> now the second thing is to do is to see how much uh, the phone uh, takes how many amps the phone takes uh, when um, you plugged it to the lighting to the lighting cable to USB as you can see I have a USB tester over there and as you can see 0 0 0.5006 that's it uh, that's abnormal so the third thing to do is uh, to go uh, to check how the phone behaves on the power supply and then uh, we can try to restore or update but in our case we can only restore so plug the connector and as you can see also 006 and that's it so now we are going to um, uh, plug the phone to my PC and try to restore the device using three tools but in iTunes mode and see if we got an error uh, when flashing the device. So now let's jump to the computer. So let's go and restore using iTunes. Now I'm going to speed forward the process uh, but I would like to mention that there is a lot of people who don't understand uh, what I'm doing in a lot of my videos but they have the same problem as I described in the videos or older videos. For example, there's a lot of people don't uh, understand what is the DFU mode on iOS or the tools that I'm using. Uh, now, of course, I'm, going, I'm not going to explain every little detail in, in this video, but for everyone who interested in micro-soldering or repair phones and other technological stuff, make sure to subscribe to the channel, uh, because very soon I will make a very uh, large course uh, for free, explaining everything from the instruments that I use and why I use them to schematics, reading, and diagnostics. I will make a playlist, and you can just enter the playlist and watch from list 1 to the latest one. Uh, so now... Let's see what we'll get in iTunes. And as you can see, we got an error 35, which to be honest, this is the first time that I get an error 35 on any iPhone. Now I'm going to uh, remove the board and jump to the microscope to see how the board looks like. So uh, logically, everything looks okay. The history of the phone is that it was in a purse and it just turned off and never <laughs> turned on back again. So when we, we made our diagnostics and the phone boots normally, uh, the board condition is clean and uh, now we have an error 35. So uh, I guess we have to go and uh, remove the NAND because uh, it just entered the DFU by himself. So uh, it's just I'm hoping the NAND is not 100% dead because I really don't want to recover the uh, system configuration from the file system. Uh, but again, let's hope for the best and uh, start working. Okay, now we're going to check if the NAND is still alive or not using the WL software and WL NAND programmer. And as you can see, when I press the query information, we don't have anything, uh, we don't have any data or the system configuration from the NAND. And now we're going to try to restore, uh, to restore using three, uh, three tools in iTunes mode. And it's the same error that we, that we had before. We are going to uh, try to just uh, change the NAND. And as you can see, we had the same problem, and now we're going to check the, uh, another NAND, and we're going to restore using another NAND. 
and as you can see from the WL software we have everything okay we have the system configuration this is another NAND and I'm restoring using three tools now if, if everything is okay we can get the error 53 because uh, in the WL software program uh, in the WL NAND programmer we don't have an NFC that's okay and as you can see yes error 53 that means that everything is okay and now we're going to uh, reboot the NAND and um, solder it back Installed the new NAND on the board, now it's time to restore the device and see if we can get the, uh, a successful restore with the new NAND, but after the restore we cannot activate the device because the system configuration in the NAND does not belong to this iPhone, so I'm going to skip forward the activation process because I already did a video about restoring the system configuration from dead NAND. You can check it out in the description down below or in any moment uh, at the top of the video. And so yeah, again, I'm going to skip the activation process and the recovery system configuration process from the original phone. And I'll catch you at the end of the video. Okay, now we restored the phone, we restored the system configuration, and as you can see, the serial number is the original one on the phone. Again, skip the process, you can check it out in the description down below. Um, so definitely go and check it out. Let, now let's go and activate the phone. Also, don't forget to unlock the Wi-Fi, and here we go. Let's just go and jump to my original language and country. Arrow 35, this is the first one, <laughs> comes to me with the... Um... Alrighty. I didn't connect the uh, Wi-Fi, the antenna, the Wi-Fi antenna, but I'm pretty sure <laughs> that uh, I didn't unlock the Wi-Fi. Okay, now let's just go <laughs> and uh, yeah, don't forget that you have to. Always to screw the uh, antenna Wi-Fi just to make sure that everything is okay. Because without the antenna wi the Wi-Fi antenna, you will get a very 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 weak signal. I hate this screw. <laughs> I really hate this screw. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, we have the Wi-Fi. Now let's go and connect. Now don't tell anybody about this password, <laughs> again. And I think the device or the serial number has an iCloud on it. If you got the iCloud, then you're good to go. You just need the iCloud because it's, it is, after all, a client device. So yeah, as you can see, our mission is done. Error 35, none problem. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. And as always, stay safe and have a good day. And I'll catch you guys in another repair video. Peace out.